Patrick, it's your turn to take the kids to school. And don't forget to drain the tub. I have 15 pages that could I finish. You read while I do my math homework. I already finished the book. I scared you feel smart. I was so smart like you. You just had to spend more time aside to study, Con. <sighs> I miss Johnson making us present in front of everybody anyways. I mean, I can write easy and pork, but I'm really bad at public speaking. I get so nervous. You'll be fine, Cummy. Don't worry about it. At least we're going to do it as partners. I'll help you. You can practice presenting me once you finish reading the book. Hello? Anybody there? Both my parents' cars are gone. Where'd they go? I don't know. Do they know who's coming over? My mom knows you're coming over to work on our report, so she's probably just back at the store. Okay. Let's go in the back. This little trampoline for exercising. You want to jump up and down on it when we present to Miss Johnson? <laughs> yeah, Miss Johnson, I will now illustrate gravity, a natural phenomenon by which all things with mass or energy. Go up and then come down. Precisely, Clem. See, you're smart. onto the roof and get in some other ways. Is there a way in from up there? I think so. My dad goes up there sometimes and then comes back out from the garage. Okay, try it. Okay. I got a piece. Serious. 
now. This is me being serious. Thank you, you know, I don't enjoy hanging around like this. What are you doing now? I'm gonna get you down. <sighs> okay, Clemmy, let me try the broom again. This time I'll come up higher. Nah, I gotta go pick. Okay, Clemmy, you have to fall towards these cushions. And how exactly am I supposed to do that? Well, the book clearly states that gravity gives weight to physical objects, which you are. Yeah, I like that part. So, Aim yourself one way and allow gravity to do its thing. I haven't finished the book yet. Well, maybe next time you'll work ahead. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. They'll also just be floating all over the place. I mean, how can we even use a toilet? <laughs> Don't mention a single toilet and stop laughing or I'll be my pants. <laughs> Come on, let's try Tristan's window. Oh, the ladder. So you step back to the tree to get you daddy now. Well, now we're using to get me back up. Way too hot. <laughs> Is it locked? I don't know. Help me give it a push. Okay. okay, tell me when. On the count of three. Oh, okay. Wait, which one's my left? One, two, three! It's not a bad idea, Clemmy. What if we blend the book report in with presenting to the class, how we got locked out, tried to get back in, and the gravity head on? I bet that would get us in there. Oh, I really have to go pee bad now, Clemmy. Hold it, Sid. My mom will be home any minute. And I like that idea. I'm not good at presenting, but I'm good at telling you a story. I start off with Sir Isaac Newton. He noticed that every object in the universe pulled on every other object. And then you tell the story, and they end with you pulling my leg. And you make a joke that you might actually be pulling my leg. But all of this really happened. Bend over and let me climb up you. I can't. I have to go to Dad now. Let's try using my hand. <laughs> Oh, no, Mom's here too. We had a hard time to do 
a report yet. Yeah, we have. You know in the system of numbering, so doubling the mass of one object makes it pull twice as strong. And when two objects twice as close, quadruples their mutual thumb. AKA the universal law of gravitation. Well, I explained to our both. So I'll just the way to